Hello Divine Feminine. So this is going to be a reading for this week. This is um, a general reading for Twin Flames, Divine Partnerships, or if you just um, tuned into my channel. So I wanted to say hello to all my subscribers and all my new subscribers. I do um, three readings a week. The Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, and the Union Spread. And I also do personal readings. So, like I said, this is a general reading, so it may not take with everyone. But um, let me call on my higher self and my spirit guides to guide and protect me in this reading. To let me be aware of the message that's being given to me. Let's see what's going on. The Divine Feminine. Wow, so these cards are just like jumping out. So we'll throw him up there because that's the second time he came out. So we have the page of wands in the middle. So this is about, you know, this journey that we're on right now. This is about, um, taking action in a journey, um, you know, starting something new. This is taking this new, a new beginning and going forward in it. And, um, you know, I feel that, you know, Divine Feminine, this is something that makes you really happy. I feel that most Divine Feminines are really happy right now. Um, they're starting something new. They can feel this new energy coming in. I have, um, the Three of Swords with the Seven of Cups and the Hierophant, the High Priest. So, some Divine Feminines might be a little confused as to, you know, what, you know, true love is and, um, or just love, period. Is love supposed to hurt? Does it hurt? Um, yes, it does. And, you know, I see them questioning and, you know, being caught up in the mind and in their emotions about how it's supposed to be and how they think it's supposed to be. Um, so, on this journey of Twin Flames, um, Soul Connections, there's a lot of emotions involved and, you know, it's not going to be like the fairy tale, um, it's going to be a lot of work, and it, but it pays off with love and emotions. Your emotions will be fulfilled. Um, so, yeah, the current energy is like some are questioning this divine partnership. 
you know this is um, you know about tradition but it's also about um, a spiritual connection and I just feel that you know they're heartbroken some divine feminines and um, they're like the seven of cups they're having illusions and they're just looking at different things in their life they're very um, there's so many ideas coming at them and emotions about, about heartache and about how things are supposed to be within this com um, connection and this on this journey okay so so we have the strength card so this is about having strength having focus having power and staying you know um, right-minded on this journey with the divine masculine I feel that some of you divine feminines um, have a divine masculine that you know they have their eye on they feel they have this soul connection with and they feel very grounded with this individual and um, a lot of them are having some heartache and it's causing them to think twice about this um, connection think twice about you know what they're doing um, they're just questioning some things within themselves and that's normal it's supposed to happen like this um, but you know you want this groundedness you're, you're looking for this groundedness um, it's what you're desiring divine feminine is the strength card is to balance out the masculine and the feminine energies okay so that you can be grounded okay So at the top, we had these two cards fall out. So this is the King of Wands, somebody very spiritual, a divine masculine, um, who's coming in on the, uh, the, the Knight of Pentacles. So this is a loyal knight. He just takes his time at his, um, his goals. He gets his goals taken care of, but it takes him a little longer than all the other knights because this knight is... Um, tired he's been through a lot um, but he's also very productive and he is in the 3d it just takes him a little longer than the other nights but I see that you know this divine masculine is very spiritual and he's coming through as the king of wands and he's coming up as this um knight of pinnacles so it's like he's going through this spiritual phase but he's coming through in the 3d okay um so what are you desiring a possible friendship okay i'm i'm seeing it's not what you're desiring it's what what's helping you so this reading is about a divine masculine I can see okay you know we have some heartache some um, emotions being spun around in us okay divine feminine and you know we have the hierophant which is asking a wiser person getting advice asking for help okay to get through these um, ideas that, to help you get through these emotions these ideas coming to you and this heartache with the three of swords um so you're wanting some groundedness and stability some focus and you're actually manifesting this divine feminine and you will have this um i see that you know this divine masculine that's coming through right here it is um possibly a good friend of yours okay with the two pages right here 
Um, it could be that, you know, <clears throat> you, you are on this journey and, um, you, you know, you're giving thanks. This is the Three of Cups. This is about celebration. So I do feel that some of um, you Divine Feminines or with the Divine Masculine um, have these connections and you know you're you're celebrating them. It's a happy feeling, okay? But it's also heartbreaking and you're also learning from some things, okay? Because possibly you, you know, you, there's some things that didn't go exactly as you thought it would happen, Divine Feminine. And that has you questioning, you know, but not everything is going to turn out exactly how you think it's going to be. There's going to be some twists and turns on this journey. And, um, but like I said, I do see that, you know, you're happy, you're celebrating, you are, um, this could be a good friendship for you, okay? A, a good friendship starting out. Um, this is about, you know, learning each other. Um, but I, I am seeing that this could be... This connection that you have with this Divine Masculine... Um, We have the magician at the on the bottom, so I do see you manifesting some some strength within you, um, bringing forth. Uh, you could be, you know, manifesting a divine partnership. So I'm gonna just pull a clarifier for what's helping you. So we hit the two of cups came out. Um, so this is well that's good that you know you guys are showing up as um, friends in here and you're also celebrating. So again we have a pinnacle and a wand and there's a wand and a pinnacle. So it's action coming through you know it's taking action within the um, 3D reality. So what is the Three of Cups with the Two Pages Spirit? It's what's helping the Divine Feminine. <clears throat> you know, I do feel like two people are, are meeting up on a journey and they find some some things that are very interesting in each other some connection some soul connections um, that actually lights their path you know um, I see that it, it is a wise person coming in to you divine feminine and um, they're showing you some things within yourself and um, You're seeing some things for what they really are. You are, um, this is the Hermit card. This is about seeking inner wisdom and inner knowledge within yourself. But it's like when two people come together, I feel like these two people that, these pages right here, they're, this could represent you and another. And, you know, I feel that y'all are on this journey and y'all are seeking higher knowledge and higher wisdom and um, I feel that like you're gaining from this relationship, okay? You know, here you're giving thanks to these um, people. You're, you're making an offering your, um, with your emotions right here. You're like giving that to Source and saying thank you. Um, for this connection you're celebrating. Now it's a lot of soul searching I see. Um, and for some I see you meeting up with someone. 
and with the page of I mean the um, Knight of Wands and the Knight I mean the King of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles I see that you know y'all are coming together um, are meeting up on the same path okay and actually you know um, feeling this connection you know with the three of cups here this is about celebrating so we still have this in your challenging position this is the nine of swords this is um anxiety this could be depression this could be um thinking staying up thinking of ways um you know, this is about self-sacrifice. This is about letting some, some things go. Letting some old beliefs go, okay? And, um, you know, I, Divine Feminine, I see you facing your shadow side. Actually, for some, this could be, um, your divine masculine, you know, facing your divine masculine. This is clearing out old energies. You know, this is challenging for you. This is some of your fears that are being brought up. Looking at things in a different perspective. Self-sacrificing some of your um, habits, some of your needs. So that you can't help somebody else out. Or so that you can let new energy come in. So I want to pull a clarifier for that. For the Divine Feminine. Um, the Nine of Swords. And the Eight. I mean the um, Star card. Which is a Major Arcana. And the Hangman. So this is about healing as well. You could be healing from the anxiety. From the stress. Wow. So we have the devil here. And the devil is temptation. The devil is... Um, it's temptations. It's... Um, you know, a bondage. Holding yourself. And thinking that you have to have something. Um, addictions. So let's just pull another one here. What do you mean by the devil spirit? Oh, goodness. So it's having faith. You know, you need to have the faith, Divine Feminine. Um, don't give up. The star always promises hope. Don't lose faith, faith in, in your goals, okay? So this could be manipulating, you know, thinking that that's what it is, you know. You're thinking too much about some things of how it's supposed to be. You know, it's not supposed to be any kind of way. It's just supposed to happen. Okay? So just remember that this is not planned out. Okay? This is not for your planning. So let that go. Things are just going to unfold as they come for you, Divine Feminine. Okay? Okay? So just take it as it comes and it will be a lot easier for you to deal with. Also, so we have completion, the world card as the outcome. So I do see you getting over some things with the page of swords. I see you taking action, walking forward over these hills, over these, um, these, 
nine swords, you know. I feel like, you know, you're just flying right over them. You have succeeded within the mind of being manipulated of the mind, Divine Feminine. And I see that, you know, you're stepping up, you're having, you're setting more goals and you're actually showing other people. This could be somebody that um, you care for. This could be, you know, your inner child. Um, Divine Feminine, but I see that, you know, you're working towards your goals. You're also making new goals. So. This is really a, a good um, hand right here because, you know, you're just succeeding. And you're going forward with knowledge, faith, and you're setting more goals for yourself. So let's pull a um, card here. The Vision of Oracle. For the Divine Feminine. Number 45. So this is manipulation, control, role playing, wishful thinking. So, you know, this is, could be like the devil. Feeling as though it's supposed to be a certain way, you know, um, being manipulated. What good is sitting alone in your room? Come here, the music play. Life is a cabaret, old chum. Come to the cabaret. Life is a cabaret, a theater, a performance. We are acting out our roles as villains and heroes. We are both manipulating, manipulated and manipulating, writing and, fo and following the script. We share the stage with others for some acts and perform solo in others. We can transfer into something or someone that we are not. There may be a creative benefit in that we are encouraged and fulfill our dreams and wishes. The danger is in losing oneself in the role and losing touch with the reality beyond the stage doors. So it's, you know, don't let go of the faith, Divine Feminine. And let go of the stereotype. Okay, so um, we have the Queen of Swords. We have the Prince of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is, you know, being real. And this is awesome because we have the Queen of Swords, the page, the Prince of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles. And I got it for this course. So this is like the devil here, you know, being manipulated, having to do it a certain way, you know, um, seeing that there's only one possibility and there's not, you know, I see you cutting through the lies, cutting through all the crap, cutting through the fogginess. I see that you're taking action with the Prince of Swords. You're moving right on into it. You know, you're, you're getting away from it. From uh, either, you know, you could be getting away from all the negative ideas, beliefs, habits, you know, not being manipulated by anyone, Divine Feminine. I see that, you know, you're succeeding with the Nine of Pentacles here. You're succeeding, you're standing alone, but you're also with faith and hope and, um, you know, 
abundance and groundedness with the nine of pentacles is almost a completion so i just want to pull some cards here from the lenormand deck to um what can the divine feminine expect this week let's see So we have the ring. That's a contract. That could be, you know. It's, you're either playing with something, you know, you're you're gonna gamble. The dice represents gamble, but it's it's about, you know, this this commitment. I feel like this commitment is strong. It's going to stay around a long time. So this could be a divine masculine coming through, you know. Divine feminine, you could be, um, you know, just... just playing around on your journey you know what I mean this could be a friend that's coming through that is going to stick around for a long time you know like I said this is about friendship because we had two pages um, but it's divine feminine I feel that you know you think it's supposed to be a certain way and supposed to go a certain way and if it doesn't happen a certain way then it, that's not it that's not right and that's how you're thinking, but that that's that's not it at, at all, you know. We might we don't know exactly what's going to happen. We just have this strong connection with someone. But I feel that this strong connection, this this agreement that we made, a soul contract is is fun, okay? Just think of it as an adventure. And, you know, it's there. It's it's not going anywhere. Okay, so if you would like a private reading, just go ahead and email me in the description below. Thank you.